Yeah, it's flour. You make bread with it, you make cookies with it, you make muffins with it. What's the big idea? Whoa, monk monk. Oh, I get it. We're getting the gluten out. I got a healthy monkey who wants to see what gluten free is all about. Um, hey, all right, no questions asked. We're going gluten free. You don't mess with the monkey. You mess with the monkey, you get the jumpy. Let's do this! to do just about anything to try to clean up our diet. We've gone cold turkey-ish in the past with our New Year's resolutions and January is always a healthy month around here because you know you're heading into some prime eating time and you're coming out of some prime eating time with the holidays and the Super Bowl and you gotta take your significant other out for a nice Valentine's dinner. So we're taking a month just to clean up our diet and Monk Monk is hip to this new trend he heard bananas were gluten free. Uh, I don't really know exactly. I, I know it's got something to do with flour, cutting out your flour, helps your asthma, helps you lose weight. Uh, if you're celiac, 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 I don't know, there's something, Google it. But we got some gluten free solutions here. And Monk Monk's, uh, he's dying to try these lemon streusel muffins. We'll do that last, but we're gonna start off with a couple things that are more uh, everyday eating, I guess, if you're gluten, gluten free. If you're gluten, we got no time for you. If you're gluten, you're just a glutton. I, I take that back. Probably 85% of our audience isn't gluten free. But we're, we're testing it out for everybody. We're not just, we're not uh, narrow casting. We're tossing a wide net. You're gonna find out what it's like to be gluten free. So, I wanted to start with something that was relatively familiar and like I said, Monk Monk found his bananas that were gluten free. Here are some Brothers All Natural Fruit Crisps, which sounds to me like, brother, could you spare some all natural fruit crisps? Like some guy at the gas station shaking a coffee mug at you. Um, so how do they prepare these? Well, they start with luscious fresh fruit straight from the best growing regions of the world. Send it directly through their state-of-the-art freeze-dry process. So I guess this is basically apple jerky. They've taken all the uh, moisture and everything else out of it. There's two ingredients. Fuji apples and cinnamon. And uh, it's a product of the USA, China, and Chile. So we'll see if these are spicy like chili or if they're America, like my monkey. America. Anyways, I, I wonder if they're gluten-free in other countries. Do you know? Your silence indicates that you don't know. Monk Monk, you're supposed to read up on this stuff. It's nice. You bite it and then it gets kind of powdery. Um, it almost feels like something that should be in trail mix. You can feel the fibers in your teeth. It is fibrous like apples tend to be. Uh, I could go for this. It's got nothing, it's got 40 calories. Um, it's gluten free, it's got eight grams of sugar which is about one fifth of a can of Pepsi or Coke. Not the most exciting snack in the world but it's still an apple. I've seen these around for a while now. I'm glad to have finally tried it. I would not turn these down. Uh, they wouldn't be my first choice, but I wouldn't turn them down. Moving right along. Now, this has been a phenomenon because basically, when I, when I saw this, I thought it was a recipe for something else. It says, three egg whites, six almonds, four cashews, two dates, no BS, that almost sounds like a movie poster for some Matthew McConaughey thing. Two cashews, two dates, no BS. Um, so it's got eggs, nuts, and fruit. And it's uh, gingerbread flavored, so I guess this is still kicking around from Christmas. Which year, I don't know. I don't know how this stuff goes bad. 
It's an RX bar. And uh, it's the real shebang, folks. Quantities of ingredients listed on front determined by net weight, gluten free. I'm wondering if this is gonna be like any of the protein bars we had a couple weeks ago. I don't know. Doesn't have any of those sugar alcohols. It's got a load of protein and a load of fiber, which we've been finding all along the way through our journey. Now you get it open, and it looks like, woof, 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 woof. I smell that and it doesn't smell right. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the Metrics Brownie from the aforementioned video that you should go watch. Woof. I don't see where there's egg whites in here. I kind of see dates, I kind of see nuts. This reminds me of a figgy pudding if it was, uh, if it threw up on itself. But let's see the smell. Yeah. This is arguably the sticky. If you took Laffy Taffy and covered it with a Gorilla Glue, it'd still be less sticky than this RX bar. It tastes like uncooked ingredients. Like it tastes like if your grandma was making banana bread and you just took a spoonful of the stuff and put it in your mouth. And it's supposed to be gingerbread. Trust me, please. There's a little gingerbread man on there. This is not gingerbread. I know gingerbread, sir, and you are no gingerbread. The nuts, they're in there, and you think you're crunching one up, and you just get a bunch of sticky stuff in your teeth. This is no fruit crisps. We're moving on from that. Now, I need a drink. Because as you can see, I can't even swallow that stuff. So here we go with a drink maple organic maple water. And sort of watching the movie Super Troopers and seeing them drink bottles of uh, maple syrup, I've never thought to drink maple. This is instructing me to drink maple. I will listen to this bottle in the spirit of the video, but I don't like my drinks telling me what to do. Just don't. Don't. You're not the boss of me, maple water. Uh, you're holding one of nature's masterpieces. You know, I heard a thing one time that snakes and uh, uh, the stuff they make dynamite out of are natural too. It doesn't make them good. Pure maple water, straight from the tree. It's refreshing, hydrating, and naturally nutritious with a subtle hint of maple. Again, I'm not looking to drink that. Created in a tree and not in a lab, it is proof of our philosophy that Mother Nature is the best chemist. Again, she also hands out earthquakes and tornadoes. I don't know. Uh, less sugar than coconut water. Okay, great. Put a feather in your cap for that one. More magnesium than a cup of kale. I don't know what you got against kale. That's a kid that works down at uh, Abercrombie and Fitch. Contains antioxidants, prebiotics, minerals, and electrolytes. Naturally alkaline, gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, paleo. If you say so. It doesn't say to shake it, but I feel like I should shake it. Twist to open. Oh. Watch out, tummy. Here comes maple water. Somebody owes me a dollar forty-nine because this is a cup of water. There's not even a faint trace of 
This is organic maple water. That's the ingredient. So if it's like water that ran down a Cadillac, does that make it organic Cadillac water? This just tastes like water. Like, I don't think this was even in the tree. I think they just went outside after the rain and uh, sucked dirt of water out of the dirt. There is no maple taste of this. And I'd be fine if it was just organic water, which I guess all water should be organic unless you're drinking that Aquafina. But, nope. Put a pancake in a blender, grind it up and put it in one of these and I'd be happier with you. 30 calories, I don't know from what. Um, which is good because we got to rinse our mouth again, we'll know that we just got water. Somehow it's got seven grams of sugar in it. It's zero percent sweet. So I love microwave burritos. I've heard for a long time they're made from cat bars. I can neither confirm nor deny that, but I wouldn't argue with you too hard. Right here we have a gluten-free to sans gluten-free burrito. Like that just sounds like word soup. Sans gluten-free. Like gluten free means gluten free, like so is it not, sans usually means not, so not gluten free. Uh, hand rolled, heat and served beef and potato burrito. Okay, I've had a beef and potato burrito over at Taco Bell before. Let's see if this matches up. Now it looks like your prototypical uh, microwave burrito right down to the paper towel sticking to it. Um, I don't think I'm going to eat much of this, so I'm just going to eat around the paper towel, which is always a good philosophy. Just eat around the paper towel. I don't know. I'm not going to lie, that's fantastic. The potatoes are a bit more like a hash brown. Um, like a Jimmy Dean mix and serve breakfast potato. The beef tastes like beef and I got no beef with beef. And uh, there's about a thousand ingredients in here but it looks like Onions, bell peppers, paisley, garlic, cilantro, apple cider vinegar, vinegar, spices, sea salt, and herbs. Cheddar cheese. So this goes to that old train of thought that there are things like Fritos that are gluten free. I don't know if they really help your diet, but this is one of those things that I just think they found the right combination. I am extremely pleased. I will place this in front of Monk Monk in hopes that he will not <coughs> eat the rest of the burrito. And I'm going to look away for one second and monk monk, you settle down. That's not your burrito. So you're looking for appetizers and you find those all the time, but is there, are there good entrees uh, when you're out searching for foods and you're on a diet? The entrees go a long way because those are what fill you up. You eat the snacks through the day, you know, a burrito is a nice dinner in and of itself, but I probably need two. So I want I'm a rice guy, I'm a spaghetti guy, I like uh, starches. I try to avoid them as much as I can, but how do you get starches when you're in the gluten-free world? Well, our old friend Miracle Noodle Kitchen has come to uh, answer that question for you with Thai Tami Yum Shirataki Konjak Noodle Soup with Coconut Milk and Herb Broth. Gluten-free, grain-free, vegan, paleo-friendly, non-GMO, quick, tasty, and delicious. Spicy, it's 80 calories per serving. Um, made in Thailand, so they're shipping it over, so it's the real deal. Oh, man. That reminds me of in the movies where people fall into dumpsters and then they dump food on their head and the last little bit falls out and it's like some kind of junk from a kitchen. Should have probably got a fork with this, but when in Rome. I don't know if those are mushrooms or if that's like beef stroking off or what. Uh, 
Am I supposed to add water or cook this? These are questions I should have asked before the show began. In the spirit of the spirit, I'll just twist some up on my spoon and go to town. I don't know what the I don't know what those noodles are made out of, but they are super chewy. Super, super chewy, and they're kind of transparent. Um I bet this would be good cooked up. We don't have that kind of time for stuff around here. Me and Monk Monk have become accustomed to a lifestyle that YouTube affords us. We're busy watching Judge Mathis and laughing about all the new uh, people going to court over a cell phone debt. We don't have time to cook things. That burrito was cooked, but we just had to wrap that in a paper towel. This, you would have had to put in the microwave, cook for one to two minutes, and enjoy. Well, we still don't have time for stuff like that. But what we do have time for is dessert. Um, I give that a thumbs up. I bet it's better hot with some water. My Dell candy cane creams. Cookies baked to crunchy perfection. Peanut free. Zero grams of trans fat. Whole wheat honey. Uh, organic gluten free. Maple ginger. Everything you're looking for if you live out in a, a tent and your name Moon uh, Moonbeam, Moondrop, whoever. I don't know, I've known both in my life. It was my second wife and my old accountant. Moondrop was the accountant. Don't think I let somebody named Moonbeam handle my money. I'm not stupid. Monk Monk's my accountant now. He accounts for these cookies. He's like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, twenty-five cookies. I'm like, thank you, Mr. Monk Lord, you'll get ten percent. Which is 2.5 cookies. Now, were these Oreos, I would go quad Oreo. I don't know if I'm going to like these, so I'm just going to eat one. And if it's good, you'll see me make a quad Oreo. Quad My Dell. It's a horrible name. If you don't see me make a quad My Dell, we're going to move right along. Not on your life. These are like definitely alternate cookies. Like these are like fake cookies, like the fake news. You taste peppermint. There is a cookie quality to it. Might be better with a drink that's not a fake maple syrup. I don't know though. Uh, it is what it is. Um, I don't know if it would be better with flour. But I, it's like the old saying, not all my doll cookies are bad, are, are bad, but all bad cookies are my dolls. And I'm basing that on uh, scientific facts accounted for by my accountant, Mr. Munglesworth. Mr. Munglesworth, how many brownies are there? Or how many uh, lemon strudel muffins are there? One, two, three, four. Ah, you're entitled for 20%. That's uh, three muffins. All right, well, I'm gonna eat my muffin. Don't be so sad. Here. There you go. Did you see that? He just sort of went, Braw. Oh, monk, monk, baby. I love you so much. You're my best friend ever. It's great to do a web show with your best friend. Oh, they look like they're fresh baked. Let's see what uh, if there's any little story here. Eat well, smile often. That was my philosophy when I was out on a ship. Couldn't live up to it, got scurvy, lost my teeth. These are all fake. Anywho, our mission is to show you a new way to approach gluten-free living. Don't waste another bite on bland, crumbly, and tasteless food. Udi's, 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 I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce that. Go to udisglutenfree.com. Makes delicious products that will fill your stomach and warm your soul.
All right, I'll take your word for it. The, oh, that's the best part. There's no wrapper. So you don't even get the opportunity to just eat the muffin top. You get to eat the whole muffin. Rarely has there been a day where it wasn't a mini muffin where I could do this. Rarely has there been a day where I had to chew a muffin more than three times. It's kind of like eating a dinner roll. But I ain't mad at it because it tastes overall lemony. It has the crumbles on top. But again, you might want to drink with it. We've learned a lot of things doing this shows over the years. Hold on, I can't even talk right now. Hold on, let me get this muffin out of my mouth. I sound like I just came from the dentist. Is this real life? Ah, whoa, monk, monk. Oh, oh, oh. I had a dream where you threw a bag of flour off the table and we went all gluten free. And then I woke up and. Oh, okay. Well. Do an accounting of all this and write it off on our taxes as corporate waste. Anyways. We learn a lot on this show. And we explore. And we try to reach out and connect to people that are doing different things. And have different ways. Could we be gluten free year round? We could. Do I see it happening? No. No I don't. Next week we got a Super Bowl party coming up. And uh, we threw our last Super Bowl party in the vein of our healthy living with an organic Super Bowl party. This is going to be a Super Bowl party like, I, there was somebody that once said something about football and our readiness about it. And there was a little song, something like, dun, 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 dun. I can't put the words to it. What? It was something about, oh. Yeah, that guy. We're going to have... Snacks. We're gonna have sodas. We're gonna have little beef weenies cooked in ways that you've not seen little beef weenies cooked. That'll be next week. The week after is Valentine's Day. And that's when somebody very special came into our life. You are so beautiful to me. My BFF forever, the Monkster. Uh, so share the video. Like the video. Tell your friends. Uh, don't forget, last week we had all those nice diet uh, root beers. We tried them blind, told you what was the real real deal in the skinny. And uh, we got to clean this up because we got some hippie chicks coming over. And we don't want to offer them hot dogs, but we might offer them hot dogs. And then if they're like, we don't go for that, we're going to be like, how about a nudies? And they're going to be like, you, sir, are an animal. And they're going to slap me and they'll be like, get out of here and take your furry little friend with you. And Monk Monk will be like, no problem. Because they think I'm the Anyways, tune in next week, Super Bowl party of doom. Till then, this is Gluten Food. He's Monk Monk. I'm Murph, and we'll see you next time we do this.